Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing another tag. This is the My Perfect Imperfections tag. This is a tag a while ago on YouTube, but since I have not been on YouTube that long, I wanted to do it myself and I've seen quite a few people do it recently, so why not? And you do, you say three things that you are insecure about and then three things you really like about yourself. Um, I think it's kind of a fun idea. I know it might seem kind of negative because you're talking about insecurities, but I mean, everybody has insecurities and I think it's just kind of like, it sucks that everybody has insecurities, but it's also kind of a good thing to know that, like, you can look at somebody and be like, that's the most gorgeous, like, person in the world. And they're still going to have insecurities. And I don't know. Personally, that makes me feel a little better. Maybe I'm an awful person. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And your insecurities are valid. I know a lot of people will just be like, no, you're fine. There's nothing wrong with you. And, honestly, there, there isn't anything wrong with you, but how you feel is still valid. If you're watching this you're beautiful I know you have insecurities because we all do but you're beautiful so we're gonna do my insecurities first um, so I really 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 do not like my eyebrows I don't fill them in or anything they are uh, just naturally like this and uh, the reason I do not like them is because they grow insanely fast well hello door slamming um, yeah, if I didn't pluck them, I would have a unibrow, and they're like, they'll get, I'll get hairs like all down here and all up here, and it's not like the good kind of bush, you know, where it's like, you know, connected, it's like random hairs just like everywhere, and I mean, they'll go down to like here, they're just like all in here, and I have to pluck every single day, sometimes twice a day, sometimes I pluck in the morning and at night, like that is how fast they grow. Eventually I do want to get laser hair removal, but it is something I am so like conscious about because I was made fun of that, fun of for that when I was younger, you know, having those like bushy unibrow, I can't even say brows because it was a unibrow, being honest. Um, so when, you know, everybody got on the trend of like the bushy eyebrows, I was like, man, too late for that but um I like the shape of them and everything like I think that's fine um they're obviously on the lighter side I mean they match my hair so um I'm fine with that sometimes I wish they were a little bit darker just because when I go out in the sun sometimes they disappear a little bit but <laughs> other than that I just I don't like how fast they grow like that's the one thing I'm just like and uh so if anybody ever comments me comment compliments me on my eyebrows I'm like Thank you. I spent a long time on these suckers. And um, I know what you're thinking. You should just go get them waxed or something. No, I have tried that. I have gotten them waxed. They are back within three days. I don't know. Suckers have a mind of their own. So that had to be one of my insecurities because I have just always been so insecure about my eyebrows. Um, the next thing are my legs, specifically my knees, which I know it's gonna sound weird. I'm actually fine with like my lower legs, like my calves are fine. It's mostly like my knees and my thighs. And that is because I played soccer <laughs> for most of my life and I have soccer thighs and knees. That's just what happens. And um, when I was in high school, that, that was kind of like the trend was to have like really, really thin thighs and you know, like that thigh gap was a thing for a while and um, like, I remember feeling so bad because I didn't have that. Now I don't care about the thigh gap thing. Um, I don't know if that's even a thing anymore, but, like, it's mostly just because I feel like they're too big for my body, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm a relatively small person, and um, it's just, like, muscle out of nowhere on my legs. And it doesn't really, like, ever... Um, like even if I don't work out or something for a while, they just kind of stay that way. Like they don't really ever change and um, I used to never wear like shorts or dresses or anything. I also do have um, burns on my legs from an accident on um, my thighs. So I want to wear a uh, swimsuit, shorts, short skirts. I want to wear any of that for the longest time because uh, so it's just super, super conscious about it. And um, lately I will and just I don't even think about it. Plus, I mean, I was born and raised in Florida, and it's like, it's hot. <laughs> so, um, I've definitely gotten better about it, but it's something I've always been insecure about. 
it's honestly kind of hard to choose just three things. I know that sounds bad, but I feel like we all critique our body a lot. Um, so the last thing is my hair, which surprised surprises a lot of people because um, a lot of people love my hair but um, it's not so much the color it's um, the like texture of it it's ridiculously thick for one and um, if I don't do anything to it it'll get like really really curly most of the time um, I put some kind of product in it um whether it's like a leave-in thing like when i'm in the shower i try not to use so much on my hair because the other thing i don't like about my hair is that it is naturally oily and it drives me nuts like i will wash it and the next morning it's back to being oily like dry shampoo is a godsend to me like when dry shampoo first sh dry i feel like that didn't come out right dry shampoo when it first came out i was just like I'm sorry if that was too high pitched. I'm sorry if you have headphones in. I realize that those, I, I should put a warning in. But um, dry shampoo is amazing for me. Um, but yeah, I never liked how like thick and like curly my hair can get and just like Lion King like, especially after like I let it air dry, you know, and then I wake up in the morning and I'm pretty much like brave. I'm like Merida. When I wake up in the morning, it's just like poof, curls. And <laughs> that's the best visual I can give you but um yeah the oiliness in particular really bothers me um my hair's kind of always been that way and yeah my mom said her hair is the same way she said it gets better as you get older so I'm like okay I'm waiting for it but um yeah I've actually dyed my hair all sorts of different colors I dyed it black when I was like 14 and then I kept dyeing it like a chestnut brown kind of color um I would like I bleached the bottom at one point and put bright red in and then I put like fire engine red and then I put like purple in it um and then I was doing like really dark auburn for a while then all sorts of nonsense to my hair so it's not really surprising to me that my three-year-old wants to dye his hair blue like Coraline I'm like you're my son you you want to dye your hair that's <laughs> not surprising to me um, but yeah, I'd say those are my top three things that bother me about myself, which I know, like, to a lot of people is probably nothing. Um, I'm just sharing. But, um, so going into securities, because it's good to talk about things we actually like about ourselves. So, <laughs> I know it's gonna, I'm gonna say this and people are gonna be like, that's a little, I don't know suggestive or I don't know but I actually really like my butt and my boobs and <laughs> it sounds really weird to say on camera and do like admit that on the internet but um I've always been on the smaller side which I'm not bragging I'm just small it's a fact and um I've always worn like a size two around there so um and a lot of people will tell me that they think I should wear like a zero and I'm like I can't I have an ass um, normally I don't curse on my channel, I'm sorry, um, but it's true, I got a bubble butt, it's there, it's there, um, I actually do have a fairly good sized chest, and most of the time I feel like you can't see it because I wear stuff like this, like I purposely cover them up most of the time, I think it's because I developed early, like I started getting them in like fifth grade, and none of the other girls had them, so I was like wearing sweaters to try and cover them, I am very proud of them, I like them, but um, it always surprises people because they'll see me in something like this where it's not obvious and then they'll see me in like, you know, a swimsuit or spaghetti strap or something and they're like, where did those come from? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, those were always there. They were just hiding. So <laughs> I feel like a lot of um, women are like that though. Like I've definitely seen other YouTubers where it doesn't look like they really have much going on there and then they wear something in particular and you're like, you have a pretty good sized chest there, don't you? But, um, yeah, I'm not going to go saying, like, what my chest size is, but above a C. I'll say that. So, um, I actually do really like them. Um, and my butt. I'm sorry if it sounds weird, but, um, I think one weird thing that I've always liked about myself is my neck. And I feel like that always sounds weird. I think it is because Audrey Hepburn had a really long neck, or has. She's still alive. I don't know. I'm sorry. 
but growing up having a longer neck I just remember people saying that I had an Audrey Hepburn neck and I was like Audrey Hepburn is beautiful and she's actually really smart too in case you don't know go read about her um but I just always took that as a compliment and I don't know I just always like how long my neck is I don't know if that's a weird thing I'm like I have a draft neck that's fine I just remember something I don't like about myself when I said that I got t-rex arms like seriously my arms are so small <laughs> It's kind of ridiculous how T-Rex my arms are. Um, <laughs> anyways, that's actually not something I'm insecure about. It's just a fact that I joke about. I'm like, I got T-Rex arms. Mm, it happens. Um, anyways, neck. Yes, like my neck. Um, anyways, I feel like I got so off topic. And I, I really like my eyes. That's the last one. Um, I like the shape of them. I like the color of them. I know on camera they're going to look just like straight up brown. Um, they're actually a color called amber. I'm trying to go like towards the light. I'm like, can you see? Can you see? Probably too close for comfort. But um, amber is brown with gold flecks in it. And um, I just really like it. And I feel like it also matches my hair really well because of the gold flex. I just feel like it goes and um, yeah, I just like my hair color, the eye shape. I have naturally long eyelashes. Um, so usually when I'm getting mascara, I just want something that's going to make them darker <laughs> because they are lighter and um, something to give them a little bit more volume. But um, they do curl naturally. They are long naturally and um, even when I was younger people would comment on my eyelashes all the time. Like people thought my parents were putting mascara on me <laughs> because I had naturally long eyelashes. Um, my son has actually inherited those eyelashes as well. He gets compliments on them all the time and I'm like yeah got that from me which I got them from my dad who got them from his mom so it's um genetic I guess so that is it for my insecurities and securities I could definitely tell you more insecurities and securities I feel like I feel like we all kind of do that um on the whole whenever like I watch one of these videos um I feel like we noticed, you know, the smallest things about ourselves that other people just don't notice or like, I don't know, like, <laughs> somebody will say that they don't like, um, I saw a YouTuber recently say she doesn't like her under eye bags and, um, I was like, I wouldn't have noticed, but I mean, it's completely valid for you to feel that way, but it's just like, we critique ourselves more than other people critique us and um so just be nice to yourself <laughs> i know it can be hard sometimes i remember when i was in college um one of my friends said that her girlfriend would um every time she would say something negative about herself she would make her say three positive things about herself and um i think things like that are definitely good to do um and i know like you can even have a day where you just like like today I was having one of those days where I was just like, I just, I think I'm here messing, I'm bloaty, and <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I feel like some days we just look in the mirror and we're like, hmm. And then other days we look in the mirror and we're like, we're cute. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, we all have good and bad days, and I don't know where I'm going with that. It's just we're all human, we all have insecurities, um, yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say, guys. <laughs> um, but that is it for this rather all up long. Obviously, if you have a channel and you want to do this tag, let us know down below so we can check it out. I know it can kind of come off. I can't speak. I know it can kind of come off negative, but I don't think this is really meant to be a negative sort of video. I think it's just meant to be like, we're human, we have insecurities, but at the same time be like, I really like this about myself so woo! it's always nice to feel nice about yourself I feel like that almost didn't make sense I think I'm just in a weird mood but that is all I have for you guys today if you did like this video please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram my links are in the thing on my jigger thank you so much for watching and I will see you later bye